That's a big, big rumor coming out. Now, take all of these with a grain of salt because I don't know if you guys have been following the Nintendo Switch rumors, like the Nintendo Switch Pro. The rumors for the Switch have just always, they always keep popping up and they're always wrong. They're always, always wrong. It never happens. And, but this one, honestly, like, I would not be surprised if this happened. The Nintendo Switch came out in 2017. We're going on six years of this console that is far, far behind in terms of power to what's currently out there. And I'm sure developers are on Nintendo's ass telling them, hey, we need something better. We want to make great games for your platform. We know you have 100 plus whatever. Like so many people have bought the Nintendo Switch, but we need something better so we can like continue to develop for your platform. And hey, maybe we'll even make two versions of it, which we've seen not really pan out well for a lot of games when you make it for the older generation. But I feel like that's definitely happening. So this is a, a rumor for the Nintendo Switch 2. And this is from Astel on Twitter. And he says, rumor, according to Japanese sources, the Switch 2 will have four teraflops with DLSS and ray tracing. I mean, that alone right there, like when they say that it's like and ray tracing it's like even look at the consoles right now how many games are we getting with like good performance with ray tracing right it's still it's still like something that's so taxing on these consoles series x ps5 four teraflops which is the same power as the series s with ray tracing it'll be very minimal games that actually get ray tracing in it they say it will be announced at the Tokyo Game Show and released in March 2023 with the next Zelda. So this is exactly what they did in terms of the release with the original Switch. They released it with Zelda Breath of the Wild in March of 2017, I believe. I want to double check that just to make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. But I believe so. I picked that up day one because I'm a big Zelda fan. Uh... Yeah, March 3rd, 2017 was the original release date of the Nintendo Switch. And they're going to and we know Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed. We know they're working on it. And they may just go with that same strategy, which I think it isn't a terrible strategy because it's a huge game. It's going to just like get the Switch 2 to fly off the shelves. And what they did with the with Breath of the Wild is they also released it on the Wii U. So, they would just do a similar release like, okay, here's the Nintendo Switch version, here's the Switch 2 version. So this person says is the post 100% leaker. The new Switch will be announced in September with Drake 4 teraflops, 12 gigabytes, 4K DLSS, 60 frames per, se per second, and the execution performance is comparable to the Xbox Series S. According to the leaker, that it was reported until the day of the announcement of the Splatoon 3 Pokemon version of Switch. It is already in production. Continues on here. According to Nate, it will be announced on Ninde next Monday. So it will be announced at TGS. New Switch supports DLSS and Ray Tracing and it is equipped with an SOC GPU called Drake. The Chinese leaker that guessed the announcement date of Splatoon 3 body hit the mark again. You're finally here. The new Switch is right in front of you. If you're going to put it out next year, it's about this much. It's okay. The category, whatever. Well, it will be the same as Zelda in March next year. Right, the Nintendo Switch is much more technical. It seems to be compared to Valve. Some random, random stuff. Random comments in there. As much as I would love this that to be true, my ass. That's honestly kind of what I feel about this. Too good to be true. Even Valve can't do four teraflops. Why couldn't a 10 agree to do? Valve basically invented doing the bear... <laughs> Oh my God. Zelda in March was already truth. Honestly, that's the thing that throws me off. You look at the Switch now and how much it's still selling. Like if you go like Nintendo. Let's just go to VG charts. Like they're always up top in terms of console hardware sales. 112. Like, like holy shit. 112 million uh nintendo switches have been sold and then if you go by like the monthly charts like look at this look at this uh hardware chart for august 27th 
Look how many Nintendo Switches still sold. 345,000. Still sold. Like they're still outselling everything out there. Nintendo's the Switch is going to continue to try to to like milk that as much as possible. For and they always put out consoles that are not like they're always under power. So for them to put out a four teraflops Nintendo Switch 2 right now with the chip shortage and with everything, their sales haven't fallen off. I don't I it's hard to believe that this is a true rumor. And again, it is the Switch. They've gone crazy rumors. But if they did this, I mean, it's a pretty enticing console, even though it is on par with the Series S. I mean, the Series S, I love the Series S. If you can get that. They're saying here, a lot of people are saying this is going to be docked. Obviously, you're only going to be able to get it docked. So I wonder how much worse it would be when it's when it's in your hand. But Series S is a great console. So for to get something on par from Nintendo with the Series S, I'm honestly all for it. I don't expect them to make like a like a 15 teraflop console or something crazy, right? I don't expect them to make something more powerful than the Series X. I expect them to come out with what they've always been doing recently is putting out a weaker console, putting out just a, just like appealing to the masses, appealing to every type of consumer, appealing to kids, appealing to families, appealing to, to everyone out there, putting out a price point that is very affordable. And then, yeah, here we are, 112 million consoles, units, and they got the Switch Lite. I mean, I think the... How much is the Nintendo Switch right now? Like the original one. How much is the Nintendo Switch right now? Uh, do they even have the prices on their website? Four forty nine for the OLED. Three se- okay, so it's still three seventy nine. That's crazy. The Switch is still three seventy nine, and then the Switch Lite is two fifty nine. That's in Canadian dollars, of course. But yeah. They just bought the OLED. The OLED was a waste, in my opinion. I actually bought one and then returned it because the screen's great, but like it literally does everything I do on the Nintendo Switch, and I play mostly on on my TV. We've seen stuff about the Switch Pro rumors come out nonstop. They've been false. Them putting out a four teraflop Switch with DLSS and ray tracing is not very believable. I don't see that happening, but I do see something happening with Zelda in tw- in March 2023. Whether that is an exclusive, like collector's edition Nintendo Switch, or if they do go with this this method, this release method, like it's going to be the exact same as what they did with the first Switch, where they released it on the Wii U, then they released it on the Nintendo Switch. And the thing is, Breath of the Wild on the Wii U was a great, a great game. Like there wasn't really anything wrong with it, from what I recall, compared to the Nintendo Switch version. They would do something similar like that. So.